To service the freezer evaporator compartment, first remove the ice storage bucket by lifting the cover up and pulling the bucket straight out. Remove the two screws securing the dispenser shelf and motor assembly. Slide the assembly forward and place it on a lower shelf momentarily. Access and disconnect the auger motor harness shown here. Then completely remove the dispenser shelf and motor assembly. Next, unplug the ice maker cord. Now remove the two screws securing the ice maker to the left freezer wall. Lift the ice maker up and to the right to remove the unit. The ice maker fill tube must now be removed as well. Note its orientation for reinstallation and then slide it off of the spout. Four screws securing the ceiling panel need to be removed next. There is sufficient clearance to remove this panel without disturbing the ice maker mounting bracket. Pull the ceiling panel down and out from its right front corner to accomplish this. Remove the two screws indicated here securing the rear panel. Next, use a flat bladed screwdriver to release the Molex connector for the auger motor from the rear panel. This will allow the wires to slip past the slotted hole in the rear cover. Grasp the light cover and twist it down from the top, then lift up to remove it. Grasp the rear panel from the top right and bottom right corners to work the panel free. Use care as the freezer thermistor and wiring is attached to the underside of the rear panel. At the freezer ceiling, disconnect the thermistor harness as well as the other Molex connectors found there. Grasp the air tower at its sides with both hands and work it downward to remove it. Pull the bottom of the drain tube out of the back wall. Notice the colored wires inside the tube. This is the drain heater. Unclamp the tube and slide it off of the evaporator housing, exposing this drain heater. The tubing cover at the top right of the ceiling is held on by two screws. Remove these screws next. Some resistance may be encountered while removing this cover. It is merely due to sealants inadvertently coming in contact with the cover during assembly. Remove the two screws securing the wiring cover to the left rear wall of the freezer. Disconnect the Molex plugs found under this cover. Remove the two screws securing the bottom of the evaporator housing to the back wall of the freezer. Grasp the housing at the bottom firmly and pull downward to remove it. Working the unit side to side while pulling downward may be advantageous to the technician.
Fabricate a double J hook to hang the unit from the upper cabinet frame, as seen here. This will facilitate removal of the evaporator fan motor assembly. Remove the four screws securing the fan motor to the evaporator housing. This split view from underneath the evaporator illustrates the four screws to remove. Bracing the unit with one hand may simplify screw removal. Grasp the fan motor with both hands and slide down to remove. Unhook the unit. Remove the component wiring secured with tape to the underside of the unit. Invert the unit and do the same on the top side. It is imperative wires and insulation be installed the same way upon reassembly. This will prevent moisture or leaking issues from arising inside the food compartments. The cover is held in place by four molded locking tabs. The rearward tabs are covered with foam tape. Peel it back to access them. Use a flat bladed screwdriver in the slot to release the tab. Then apply some upward pressure to pass the lock. Peel back but do not destroy the foam insulation to access the rearward tabs. Remove the cover by lifting upward at the front lip. Some persuasion may be necessary if there is a frost buildup on the evaporator. The evaporator is held in the housing with two screws from the rear. Remove these screws next. Carefully lift the evaporator up enough to slide the housing out from under it. Use care as the fins have sharp edges. The defrost heater used is a cow rod type. Remove these two screws to replace the defrost heater assembly. Turn the evaporator clockwise to gain access to the defrost high limit thermostat. Follow the yellow wires to the right to find the evaporator thermistor. This thermistor is inserted into a copper socket of the evaporator for proper temperature transfer. It slides out quite easily for replacement. This concludes this training video.